Hello friends, it is now Wednesday, the first full week of Lent, and today we're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to John 9 so that we can read verses 1 through 11 together. So you guys go ahead, press pause, get your Bibles all set, open to John 9, have your finger on verse 1, and another finger maybe on verse 11 so you can see how far that is then take one of your fingers away, hmm, I don't care, whichever one, so that you can press play again when you're ready to read this along with me, okay? So go ahead, take your time, get yourself all set up, and when you're ready, I'll be waiting patiently to read right along with you. Okay, friends, are you all set? I am too. John 9, 1 through 11 says this. As he passed by, Jesus that is, he saw a blind man from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not this man who sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said these things, he spat, Jesus spit, friends, he did. He spat on the ground and made mud with his saliva. Then he anointed the man's eyes with mud and said to him, go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar were saying, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, it is he. And others said, no, but it is like him, almost like a twin or maybe a brother, someone who looks a lot like him. He kept saying, I am the man. So they said to him, then how were your eyes opened? He answered them, the man called Jesus made mud and anointed my eyes and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and received my sight. Now, here's what our devotion has to say to us. It's going to introduce us to a few people. Are you ready to meet some new people? I hope so. Do you know about Helen Keller? She was a healthy baby, but when she was still small, a serious illness left her deaf and blind. She could not see or hear or talk. When Helen Keller was six, a teacher named Ann Sullivan came to live in that Keller home. Miss Sullivan made letters with her fingers and let Helen feel them. She helped Helen learn about her world. Even though many of us have eyes that work well, sometimes we don't see the good that we could do for other people. Jesus is the teacher who opens our eyes to his love. He has the power to forgive the blindness of our sin. When Helen became an adult, she traveled all over the world and told how Miss Sullivan had helped her. We need to tell people about our teacher too. And when we get to heaven, we will see him with our own eyes. Let's pray. Jesus, help us to look for ways to share your love with others. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Oh, friends, and check out our medallion today. Ooh, it's looking closely, looking closely for ways to serve and help others, looking for ways to love the people around us, looking closely into God's word. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, and so let's see what our challenge is. It says, wear a blindfold and try to empty the trash. Then thank God for the beautiful things he gives us to see. So the first part of our challenge is to kind of try something that is pretty regular, pretty normal for us, right? And see if we can do it blindfolded. Oh, that might be challenging. And then after that part is done, to thank God that he has given you eyes that can see, that he's given you eyes that can see all the beautiful things that he's made. Oh friends, I love you so very much and I'll meet you right back here tomorrow. Bye.